Hello everyone and welcome to another episode of Jesse's Collectible Showcase. I'm Jesse Keller and today is my season finale. If you are on my Facebook page, if you liked my Facebook page, you would have seen that. I've posted a few updates on it. And this is basically just going to be a few things I got myself for Christmas as well as some things that other people got me. So let's get to it, shall we? And first off we have this t-shirt that I got. It is of uh, Death with their album Leprosy. Their second album, and this is my favorite album by Death. Got it for 20 bucks at Hot Topic. I thought it was pretty good. Up next, we have a copy of Inagata De Vida by Iron Butterfly. <clears throat> this plays perfectly. This one is a gold record award version. We're certified gold by the RIAA, which is the Recording Art Industry Association of America. And that was half off. This is another item that was half off that I got. This I put on my page recently as well as the record. This is a 1916 by Motorhead. I'm going to be doing a review of that later this season. I got that for five bucks. I got myself these $35 Skull Candy headphones for 35 bucks. I've got myself this comic book of The Killing Joke by uh, DC. This is a really good Batman comic. If you haven't had the chance to read it, you will absolutely fucking love it. Spoiler alert. Basically, Barbara Gordon gets killed. Cops and uh, Commissioner Gordon go insane and Batman kills Joker. That's basically how to sum it up in one sentence. And I also got another comic book. I like this more for the artwork and done than the storyline behind it. It is a uh, death by design. It has some of the most beautiful artwork I've seen in the comic book. It's kind of like a uh, part black and white, part color. For uh, fifteen bucks at Walmart, and I can't believe they actually sell these brand fucking new at Walmart. This is a cassette recorder. And it works just fine. It all has a microphone, which I have over there with uh, my cassettes. I got, <clears throat> for half price, uh, half price books, I got uh, this copy of White Line Fever, which is the autobiography by, Le by uh, Lemmy, who was the singer and bassist for Motorhead. Then I also got this. This is another good book that I got for uh, 10 bucks. It's a whole lot of Led Zeppelin, and it's getting fucked up at the back, so I think I might return it. I'm not 100% sure if I should, though. Got it for 10 bucks. My sister got me these next things right here, this bookmark. <clears throat> Batman Begins and The Dark Knight. Undertaker's Deadliest Matches, one of my favorite wrestlers of all time, The Undertaker, which has a body bag match between him and the Ultimate Warrior, the first Buried Alive match, the first Hell in a Cell match, the Inferno match with Kane, Heartbreak and Triumph, uh, Shawn Michaels documentary from 2007, and this is one of the more famous wrestling documentaries, Beyond the Map. That was one of my favorite documentaries not just in wrestling but in general this is a uh, Gene Simmons family jewels the complete first season I am a huge kiss fan I have yet to watch it that series yet I've seen the series I just haven't seen the disc yet this is a coke Ford box van that's a matchbox I normally don't like matchbox stuff but I like uh, collecting coca-cola things this is a Hulk Hogan figure that was given to me as a Christmas present by uh, another YouTuber named Moonstar, who's uh, my, ho my motherfucking homegirl. Shout out to Moonstar, what's up? Uh, this Jerry Rice jersey, which I got for six bucks at Goodwill. Hold on, let me flip it inside out so you guys can see it. Jerry Rice played on three teams in his NFL career, the San Francisco 49ers, the Raiders, and the Seahawks. This one is a Raiders jersey. I got this for 20 bucks at Hot Topic 2. This one is uh, Motorhead. And 
I mainly got it because uh, the last Motorhead shirt that I have has a huge asshole in the armpit, which is depressing. I also have just two more things. I have this uh, cassette recorder, which is also a Walkman. You can't really plug in your headphones into it. You can only hear out of one earbud. But it has a built-in speaker, so if you play it without the headphones, it plays, you know, just fine. You can hear both sounds. And last but not least, I got this for five bucks. It is a little cup where you can flip the straw. It's a Batman one. And it's one of his older Golden Age comics. The Golden Age of comics last from 1937 up until 1954 before they had the uh, comics authority code on it now season one season two was a uh, premiere episode what I'm going to do is uh, a review of Led Zeppelin 1 Led Zeppelin 1 is the first album by Led Zeppelin and I'm going to be doing a weekly format from here on out. So starting next Saturday would be the fourth, would be the premiere. And one more thing, I'd like to wish you guys a happy 2017. Congratulations on whatever goals you may have accomplished in the previous year, and hope you have more successful <clears throat> run of 2017. Thanks, and have a good day.